Hey guys, this is Mineral Survival here today, and I thought I would show you uh, options for like storing food and kind of uh, like uh, prepping and stuff. So uh, I have kind of categories. There's the like really when you last a long time, and there's just like a little bit really short term, and there's medium term. So I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is a mountain house. These are really good. I usually take these when I'm going camping. And, uh, so they last, I think, here. It is 2016, and this is saying best use by January 2028. That's a really long time away. So I think this lasts about 15, 25 years, something like that. Now these bars, these are like medium term. I've had these for a long time and they last about, you can make them last about two years, maybe three. Those are good for short term if you know like something's coming up really quick. And they're not too expensive. And they got a lot of protein in them and they got peanut butter. They're peanut butter and chocolate flavored. So they have more uh, protein in them. I don't know what the protein amount is, but... um. Four grams of protein. Let's see if I can focus. Four grams of protein. And I think that's for both these bars, which isn't too bad. So it's about 12 grams of protein. This has 14 grams of protein. And now they're short term. Like you could do something like cheese. These are like, I don't know, it'll last you like half a year. Really short term, really cheap. Um, they have a lot of preservatives in it. So you could probably make them last about two years if you keep them in a Good spot. That's right. That's cold. Now these are sunflower seeds, and these will last a pretty long time. These will last about three or four years because they're packaged, and the seeds are individually packaged. So, yeah. Then I have the classic MRE. More ready to eat. These last about five years, and uh, this is the Chilean macaroni, and it. Uh, doesn't say expiration date, but it lasts about five years, and yeah. So these are different. Oh yeah, and before I forget, if you're gonna do something like storage and food, I'd recommend you like get yourself a little spice cabinet. Okay, so I got some peppers, some salts. Here, uh, salt, pepper, pepper, pepper. Because uh, you're going to want some stuff to, uh, some of the stuff you're not going to like and it's going to be a little older so it's not going to have a good taste. So you can just get various types of uh, items that would make this better. But uh, yeah, so I just got some sugar, like lemon juice, pepper, and salt. So overall that's kind of what I would use for food storage. I mean, this isn't really all I have, but I just kind of categorized some stuff and took it out. But this is definitely what I would uh, use if I was going to store food for different time periods. I'll see you guys later. Remember, this is Minimal Survival. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more survival-themed videos and year reviews and kind of help. See you guys later.